the National Institute of Management 2012 Fellows Award and Spouse Day Luncheon, or as some eligible members like the Governor of Aquaibum State, Godswill Apabio, were conferred as Fellows, the highest professional membership of the Institute. Stay with us. The Shell Hall of the Muson Center in Lagos played host to friends, guests, and members of the Nigerian Institute of Management. It's a fellow awards and spouses day luncheon of the Institute under the leadership of their president and chairman of council, Chief Dr. Michael Olawale Cole. They wasted no time in getting the show started, as some eligible members of the institute were conferred with the highest professional membership. So, the idea to incorporate members' spouses in this yearly event was promoted to give the spouses, especially those who are non members of the institute, a sense of belonging at the institute. Today is therefore a day for celebration of our spouses. This ceremony is in continuation of a long-standing tradition which started way back in February of 1963 when the first fellows of the institute were inducted. The governor of Aquaibum State, Gorsul Akpabio, was amongst those conferred with the honors. But before that, the guest speaker, Sir Peter Osegale Edeogo, lectured on the topic, The Challenges of a Nation, where nature speaks the language of order and abundance. You can regard Nigeria at a time in the likeness of the Garden of Eden, where God provided everything for man. For all seasons, whatever man needed to survive was provided. However, God was soon to discover, too soon, the serpent lured Eve, and Eve persuaded Adam to eat the forbidden fruit. For this act of disobedience, life became an unending, bodysome struggle. It was indeed a day of recognition and awards, beginning with lifetime achievement awards for some distinguished members, like the former governor of Lagos State. Al Haji Latif Jakonde, Chief Gabriel Eyolua Mabiaku, Mrs. Francisca Yetunde, amongst others. That wasn't all. Other distinguished individuals were also given awards amongst them as the chairman and CEO of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, who got the Tuyo Award. Now this award is given to entrepreneurs who have set up successful indigenous business applying modern science and techniques of management. It was received by the station's manager, Mr. Patrick Obuse. Wow, 
and the big moment came as the eligible members were inducted as fellows of the Nigerian Institute of Management, amongst them as the governor of Akwa Ibn State, Godswell Akpabio, head of Edo State Civil Service, Princess Ekiwa Ine, former Lagos State Commissioner for the Environment, Dr. Moise Banire, among others. We are very delighted today that in our little spheres of life, we are met in fact to be recognized. But I want to say that we have very challenging times in our country. And this is the time that every manager must manage well. This is the time that every leader must lead well. And this is the time we must begin to inculcate in our children what they will become for us. Uh, it's a call to duty and a call to higher responsibility. Uh, there are certain things that uh, perhaps one did before, but in recognition of the father, one is not a fellow of the Nigeria Institute of uh, Management. We have to do things differently. With all these, NIM maintains that its vision is to be the main source and symbol of management excellence in the country.